now a look at the automotive news for the week of January 14th, 1996. Hi there, I'm Steve Pippen. Welcome to Motor Trend News for the week. Of course, the big stories we've all come to expect each year at this time are the formal introductions of new models at the major auto shows. Well, this year, although the LA and Detroit shows opened simultaneously, Detroit was the setting for most of the major announcements. And perhaps the most major announcement by far was the entry of Mercedes-Benz into the crowded sport utility market with their eye-catching AAV, or All Activity Vehicle. It's big news for many reasons, not the least of which is its projected $35,000 price range and the fact that it'll be made right here in the U.S. at Mercedes' sparkling new facility in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Now, on a bit more shocking level was GM's announcement that Saturn dealers in California and Arizona will begin marketing a full electric-powered vehicle by fall of this year. The EV1 will be made in Lansing, Michigan, and is also targeted for the mid-$30,000 price range. Driving range, on the other hand, is a skimpy 70 to 90 miles between charges, which can take anywhere from 3 to 15 hours, depending on the available current. Elsewhere within GM came the rollout of Cadillac's new starter car, the Katerra, which is based on Europe's Opel Omega. Chevy showcased its resurrection of the old Malibu nameplate. Pontiac freshened its grand old Grand Prix. And Olds raised a few eyebrows with its Intrigue sedan, scheduled for the 98 model year. Meanwhile, over at Ford, the new 97 Escort made its debut and finished off the styling revolution initiated by Contour and Taurus. And speaking of Taurus, despite the corporate nail-biting resulting from unmet sales projections, Ford's mid-size sedan has retained its title as America's best-selling car, outselling the Honda Accord by 7%. As expected, the F-150 pickup extended Ford's winning streak in truck sales to 14 years in a row. Well, that's the end of the road for this week's edition of Motor Trend News, but stay with us, because up next, it's our presentation of Motor Trend's Car of the Year Award, right after this. Motor Trend Television is...